हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यूलर्स मेथड यूलर्स मेथड इज ए मल्टी स्टेप मेथड एंड वी कैटेगराइज यूलर्स मेथड इन द थ्री फॉर्म्स फर्स्ट फॉर्म इज नोन एज द फॉरवर्ड एक्सप्लिसिट यूलर्स मेथड सेकेंड इज बैकवर्ड इम्प्लिसिट यूलर्स मेथड एंड थर्ड वन इज मॉडिफाइड यूलर्स मेथड सो इन दिस वीडियो I am going to explain forward explicit Euler's method. So, forward explicit Euler's method is one of the oldest and simplest numerical method. That is, with the help of this method, we compute an approximate solution for the given initial value problem. So here. we consider an initial value problem dy by dx is equal to f of x y with the condition y of x 0 is equal to y 0 then the general approximation formula is y n plus 1 is equal to y n plus s times of f of x n comma y n so here h h is the step size and this step size calculate or compute with the help of this formula that is h is equal to x n minus x not upon n so this formula is known as the general approximation euler's general approximation formula so uh, this method um, i will explain with the help of two uh, initial value problem so first initial value problem is uh, solve numerically the initial value problem dy by dx is equal to xy with y0 is equal to 1 using euler's explicit method taking the step size h is equal to 0.5 that is here step size is given and uh, if step size is not given then compute the step size h with the help of the uh, previous formula and uh, then compute the value of the y at x is equal to 1 correct to two decimal places so explanation of this problem is first given initial value problem is dy by dx is equal to xy y of 0 is equal to 1 say this is equation 1 now compare equation 1 with the standard initial value problem dy by dx is equal to f of xy with y of x not is equal to y not so we have f of xy is equal to xy x not is equal to 0 y not is equal to 1 and also given the step size h is equal to 0.5 and step size h is equal to 0.5 and we compute the value of the y at x is equal to 1 now uh, if we uh, compute an approximate value of y at x is equal to 1 so we generate a table now the x value initially x not and x not is equal to 0 then x1 x1 is x not plus h that is x not is 0 plus h is 0.5 so this is is 0.5 then x2 x2 is x not plus 2h so 0 plus 2 into 0.5 so this is equal to 1 that is the value of the y initially uh, y not y not is given 1 then compute the y1 y1 is y1 is y of x1 then y2 y2 is y of x2 that is y of x2 means x2 is equal to 1 that is our aim to compute the value of the y and uh, Uh, value of the y at x2 and x2 is equal to 1 that is y of 1 is denoted by y2 so when we apply the uh, euler's uh, uh, formula so uh, the general approximation is yn plus 1 is equal to yn plus h times of f xn comma yn so this is yn plus h times of f xn yn and uh, f of x comma y is equal to 
f of x comma y is equal to x into y so here x replaced by xn and y replaced by yn then this will be xn into yn so here taking yn is common so this is 1 plus h times of xn into yn this is equation uh, 2 and this is equal to yn plus 1 and uh, according to uh, table we compute the value of the y1 and value of the y2 that is first compute the value of the y y1 with the help of the x1 then compute the value of the y2 with the help of the x2 so in that case here n varies from 0 and 1 that is when we put n is equal to 0 then we obtain y1 y1 is equal to 1 plus h x0 y0 that is 1 plus h h is 0 0.5 x0 is 0 and y0 is 1 so this value is 1 now put n is equal to 1 in equation 2 then we obtain y2 y2 is 1 plus h x1 into y1 that is 1 plus h h is 0 0.5 x1 x1 is 0 0.5 into y1 y1 is 1 and simplify this with the help of the calculator we obtain 1.25 and if we uh, compute the uh, error in the given initial value problem because error is the difference uh, of an uh, exact solution and an approximate solution so exact solution uh, compute with the help of the analytical method that is uh, here uh, we obtain or we given the uh, initial value problem dy by dx is equal to xy so this is that is this initial value problem solved with the help of a direct method that is variable separable form and uh, here using the variable separable form then we obtain the solution y of x is equal to uh, c times of e raised to the power x square upon 2 and uh, here c is the uh, arbitrary constant and compute the value of this arbitrary constant with the help of the given initial value problem so initial condition is given y of 0 is equal to 1 that is using y of 0 is equal to 1 so it implies that when we put x is equal to 0 here so y of 0 so value of y of 0 is 1 so t c times of e raised to the power 0 and e raised to the power 0 is 1 so it implies that c is equal to 1 now taking the value of c is equal to 1 here so we obtain y of x is equal to e raised to the power x square upon 2 and uh, compute the value of the y at x is equal to 1 so e key power 1 upon 2 that is e key power 0 0.5 compute this value with the help of the calculator then this is 1.65 so uh, the error is equal to exact solution minus approximate solution so exact solution is 1.65 and approximate solution is uh, 1.25 so error is 0 0.40 so this is the error in the solution of the given initial value problem with the help of the Euler's method now the second uh, problem related to Euler's method now problem is uh, using Euler's method to find the value of y at x is equal to 0 0.2 correct to three decimal places given that dy by dx is equal to x minus y with initial condition y0 is equal to 1 and taking step size h is equal to 0 0.1 so explanation of this problem given initial value problem is dy by dx is equal to x minus y with y of 0 is equal to 1 say this is equation 1 now compare equation 1 with dy by dx is equal to f of xy y of x naught is equal to y naught so we obtain f of xy is equal to x minus y x0 is equal to 0 y0 is equal to 1 and the given step size h is equal to 0 0.1 so we want to compute the value of the y at x is equal to 0 0.2 so first generate a table now tabular data is 
x x initially x naught x naught is zero then x one x one is x zero plus h that is x zero is zero h is zero point one so this value is zero point one then x two x two is x naught plus two h that is zero plus two into zero point one then this is equal to zero point two and uh, the value of y y initially y naught y naught is given one corresponding to x naught then y one y one is y of x one and uh, y two y two is y of x two that is y of x one means y of zero point one and y of x two means y of zero point two that is our aim to compute the value of the y at x is equal to zero point two that is when we compute the value of the y at x is equal to zero point two so first compute the value of the y at x is equal to zero point one so here using the euler's formula y n plus one is equal to y n plus h f x n comma y n and uh, y n plus one is equal to y n plus h f x n comma y n because given f of x y is equal to x minus y so x replaced by x n y replaced by y n so this is x n minus y n and uh, we write this expression y n minus h times of the y n and uh, h x n so we write one minus h y n plus h x n this is equal to y n plus one and say this is equation two and according to table this is y one and this is y two so initially here n is equal to zero and n is equal to one that is when we put n is equal to zero in equation two then we obtain y one y one is uh, y one is one minus h h is zero point one into uh, y zero plus h is zero point one into x zero so this is equal to one minus zero point one y zero is one plus zero point one x zero is zero and simplify this with the help of the calculator then we obtain zero point nine zero zero correct to three decimal places now put n is equal to one in equation two then we obtain y2 and this y1 y1 is y of 0.1 and uh, uh, compute the value of the y2 with the help of the y1 so y2 is equal to 1 minus 0.1 y1 because put n is equal to 1 so y1 plus 0.1 into x1 so 1 minus 0.1 y1 y1 is 0.900 Plus zero point one into x one x one is zero point one. So simplify this with the help of the calculator, then we obtain zero point eight two zero. So zero point eight two zero is the value of the y at x is equal to zero point two, and this value is denoted by y two, and that is y two is equal to zero point eight two zero, and this is uh, an approximate solution for the given initial value problem. and uh, uh, we can compute the error in the solution in the uh, previous question solve the in, in the same manner of the pre previous question so, com compute an uh, exact solution for the given problem uh, with the help of the direct method and uh, using the condition of first order and first degree linear differential equation and then uh, we compute uh, the solution of the given equation that is we obtain y of x is equal to x minus 1 plus 2 times of e raised to the power minus x and uh, and uh, when we compute y at x is equal to 0.2 so this is 0.2 minus 1 plus 2 times of e raised to the power minus 0.2 and simplify this expression with the help of the calculator we obtain 0.837 so here error error is equal to because this is the exact solution so 0.837 minus approximate solution is 0.820 so error is equal to 0.017 so this is an error in the uh, 
uh, approximate solution for the given initial value problem with the help of the uh, Euler's method. So, thank you very much.